Welcome to Regan Rides in the Garage again. Uh, this afternoon we're going to have a look at our microphone setup for vlogging for two people. Um, and what we use, how we have it set up in the helmets. Um, so what we'll start with is the DJI wireless mic system. Uh, this is a nice compact unit comes in its own uh, charging case. Uh, I think you get about three charges, three full charges for each of the units. Uh, so you've got a uh, receiver and two transmitters. Uh, and then with those, we also have a couple of wind uh, muffs. That's essentially all the kit that we use uh, in the helmets. Um, a transmitter each goes in one of the helmets and the receiver gets connected to the GoPro and uh, is attached to the front of the helmet. Uh, other things we're going to need uh, for this system to work, obviously a GoPro, we're using GoPro Hero 10s. We need a media mod to be able to get the sound out of the GoPro into the uh, receiver of the DJI unit. Uh, Cable to connect the two, just to mount, put the media mod onto the helmet. Uh, we'll put all that together in a minute. Now, next thing we need, we're both using uh, Showy Hornet uh, Adventure helmets. Um, the good thing with these is they are, or well, they have lots of room in here. Um, which is where we're going to locate the, um, the transmitter. Um, now, in order to do that, these units come with a little magnet, um, which goes on the back, like so. Um, now, in order to put that in the helmet, uh, we use a product called 3M Jewel Lock. Uh, it's a bit like a, a Velcro, really heavy duty Velcro. Um, and we basically take a piece, nice angle here. We put a piece in the front of the helmet here, uh, and we put a piece on the back of the magnet, and then the little magnet gets pressed inside the helmet like so. Then we take the transmitter and we stick it inside the helmet like that. Um, now to get really nice, clean, good sound out of these things, uh, it's really advisable to use a wind muff. Um, they basically just hook onto the top of the unit like so. And then when you're putting that unit back in here, when you're putting that back in here, that sits in the bottom of your helmet like that. Now, there's plenty of room uh, when you've got this helmet on, there's actually plenty of room between your chin and the back edge of this when it sits inside the helmet. So you, you don't actually feel it. Uh, if you put it just off or in the wrong place ever so slightly, you might get a little bit of fluffy off the, uh, off the wind muff. Uh, best thing, if you're wearing a neck buff or something, you pull it up on your chin, you never feel it. Uh, these units last for about five hours, um, so that's each of these five hours, and the receiver also about, we can get about five hours before we have to recharge the battery, so we generally will put them on first thing in the morning, we just turn the whole thing on, leave it all running, uh, when we get to lunchtime, we'll take everything off, and everything just gets popped straight back in the case like such and uh, we give it a quick charge. We might be down for lunch for, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. That's generally enough to give us enough charge back in the units to carry on through till three, four o'clock in the afternoon and when it's time to get off the bike for the day. Um, in total, if these things are dead flat, probably takes somewhere between 60, 70 minutes to charge them and you get about three full charges out of the, uh, out of the battery case. So really good, compact, this fits straight in the tank bag. Um, everything's contained really nice. Um, now, the other thing with these, 
These uh, transmitters have about eight gigabyte of internal memory, which will let you do 14 hours of recording, independent of this unit. So this unit does not have to be turned on and does not have to be plugged into anything else. You can leave this off, you can turn this on, hit the record button on the side here, little red light comes on, and that's recording straight away to the internal memory of the unit. Um, so if you're in bad weather uh, and you don't have this set up on the front of the helmet, then you can record directly to each of these units and record, in our case, we'll record uh, individually um, to the units. The only issue with that is you've got to try and sync it back up to your video footage afterwards, um, which can be lots of fun. Right, mounting up this thing, um, basically, we're going to use a GoPro Media Mod. We're going to use a Hero 10. Put these in here like so. Put this on here. We're going to grab out the receiver. Uh, now, the receiver gets put into the side of the Media Mod here. Just slots into a there's a cold shoe on, on the side and on the top. Uh, for me, I like it on the side. It's out of the way. It's not sitting up on the, too high on top of the camera when it's mounted. Uh, we have to put a cable in the bottom and the output and in the back of the media mod into here. Now, just while I put this mount on here. Now, these are, none of this is waterproof. Um, so when you get into rain and inclement weather, good idea just to take it off and um, store it away. Um, all right, once all that's put together, you can see I've got my uh, mount on the back of the media mold there. I've got the receiver mounted on the side. I've got my cable around here. So one nice, neat, compact unit. Um, now, everything's done by the screen on the front. Uh, I'm not really going to go into the operating uses of the, of the DJI unit itself. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the two units pair straight to the receiver. Um, you can see when they're both connected. We run these units in stereo, which means we have one channel to the left and one channel to the right. Uh, so when we actually listen back, uh, if you have good sound systems, headphones, anything like that. One of us is in the left hand ear and, and the other's in the right, which makes for, uh, we think makes our content a little, a little bit unique. Uh, you can put them in a mono setup where both channels are recorded onto a single track. Um, uh, having it in the stereo, it lets us in, in editing actually grab one or the other and we could tweak the sound up or down or mute it all together if we need to. Um, once that's all set up, this gets clipped. This gets clipped straight into here, like so. And that is our setup for helmet cam for vlogging. Um, back to the inside here, you get my magnet. We'll put my magnet down in here and we'll get This one with all right. We've got the magnet on there. We've got my transmitter clipping on there. Um, now we also tend to use the uh, the windshield that comes with these helmets that comes in the bottom here. It just sits in here. Um, can be a bit, bit of a pain in warmer weather because it stops a lot of airflow up through your chin and bits and pieces. Uh, but when you want to get really good sound, uh, it's amazing. It just stops all that wind getting up onto the microphone. But well worth using those. Uh, that's my setup. I have the camera on the front, obviously. Uh, for Lee on the back, hers is pretty much identical. Her helmet's already got the, um, the chin in there. And you can see... The magnet's tucked in down on the, on the piece of Velcro there already, and then we just quite simply put the unit in there, turn them on, and away we go. Um, we've done 
Uh, our last series in New Zealand, season two, we did the whole season with this setup. Um, I think we had one day where we misjudged the battery on the receiver and we lost a bit of audio for the right at the very end of the day. It went flat and uh, we weren't running the backup system to record to the units, so we lost our sound for, I don't know, probably four or five clips. Uh, other than that, the thing worked flawlessly, uh, really, really good. Uh, the sound quality is amazing. Uh, in the unit itself, you've got gain control, so you can lift individual levels up for myself or for Lee, so we can bring them up or down if we need to. Um, yeah, really, really good, really happy with it. Uh, what we'll do is we will put some clips together from some of that series, just let you know, uh, let you see how good the sound quality actually is, um, and yeah, we're pretty happy with it. Good morning. It's a pretty nice looking day. Hello. It's uh, 8.30, nice early start. Yeah, just follow the power lines <coughs> out through the uh, through the valley here. There's a lake out there somewhere. Somewhere up here, there's a lake. Yeah. After another one of those epic days, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, bucket list, absolute must ride. Yep. The fact that we managed to jag a good day that um, that helps too. Yeah, no no real wind, no, no rain. rain. Yeah, can't uh, ask bit, for much more. Yeah, a bit cool this morning, but that was manageable. Yeah. We'll wash out most of our elevation here, I reckon. I think so. Get us back down. And actually drop down below the clouds. Should be good. That's the old man range with a little sprinkle of snow on it. Look at that. Yep. 